What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very highly requested video. I put on my Instagram story last week to see what you guys wanted to watch next and it was a choice between dressage, tack up and ride with me or a tack room makeover which definitely won the poll by a long shot. Um, so yep, this is what we're doing today and I'm very embarrassed to say that I have not done this for a year. I think it was my second ever video on YouTube was uh, redoing this entire room that I call my tack room. It's not that big, but as you can see, it is an utter state and it really needs to be done. You know, last year's competition season was just hectic. It was, we were competing every second weekend. I just didn't have time. And you know, when you're in a rush from the stables, you just come home, chuck things in because you just want to go upstairs and have a nice warm shower. But today is the day that I just need to clean it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But I guess the first thing that we need to do is get everything out of here. As you guys can see, I've emptied out most things from the floor, but I haven't even tackled the shelves because this clothing rack was giving me so much anxiety. There was clothes all over the top. There's even clothes up here. Like why, why would I put clothes up there when I'm walking in here, just flinging them up there? I don't know. So it was, yeah, looking absolutely terrible. So I'm just hanging up things, hanging up all my tops, my breeches. And then I'm going to have to go through and probably I might even color coordinate them. That's I know a bit much, but it'll give me a lot of satisfaction once it's finished. <laughs> so it's amazing the things you find when you're cleaning out your tack room. I have a stud girth, <laughs> another one. I loved the one that I ordered so much that I ended up um, calling the company and asking them to ship out another one because I am obsessed with it. I'll just show you guys. Black with a bit of like burgundy red stitching, which I love. So yeah, there we go. That's something new that I've found and I'll definitely need to hang it up somewhere nice to make sure it um, stays clean and nice and protected. So as you guys can see, I got distracted very quickly, but I'm back to hanging up my clothing um, and I'm just currently doing my show jackets. I'm changing a wooden hanger to a velvet hanger. Is that obsessive? Probably, but I like how it looks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just reminds me of, you know, when I'll be wearing these again, gosh, we'll be back out competing. It feels like forever, even though it hasn't even been that long. Um, but then I'm going, once I finish this, I'll be hanging up my saddle pads as well that were on the floor. So now that they'll be off the floor and all nice and neat. You guys might be wondering why I have a uh, Bunnings straw hat in my tack room. Sun protection, everybody. These have the widest brims and they keep all of the sun off me and my boyfriend's face, especially while it shows, which is really important because I always get sunburnt across my cheeks and on my nose constantly. I swear if you go back and watch any of my show vlogs, I've literally got like a Rudolph the red nose reindeer nose because I always get sunburnt. So that's why I have these. <laughs> Best investment from Bunnings. All right, bit of an update. The rack is almost sorted. I am missing quite a lot of breeches and tops because they are currently in the laundry ready to be washed. My saddle pads are almost sorted. I do need to color coordinate them, but you guys might be surprised. This is my collection. It's probably not as much as you guys would think. I know everyone's like, oh, Elizabeth, you must have a massive saddle pad collection. I've actually sold quite a lot of them. And what I sometimes do is sell my old ones to get a new one. And that way I don't, you know, have 50 saddle pads all at once. Um, these are just some extra hangers that I've got here. You guys might recognize these from my last tack room makeover. So these boxes were from Kmart from memory and I just made these little labels for them. However, I have been putting everything in everything. So like my, my socks and cap, caps aren't in my socks and caps one. Like there's some in the brushing boots. My brushing boots, some of them are in my bits box. So it's just all a bit messy and confused. So I just need to empty them all, redo them all. And I also made some new labels. So it's a bit bolded and easier 
easier to read hopefully if you guys can see that and i just did that on word it's super easy to do it didn't take me long at all what else have i got planned so need to organize all them i have bought a couple of extra boxes and i've also bought these long ones i thought they might have been good maybe potentially like for my rugs or half pads because at the moment my half pads are literally just getting thrown over the top of the rack so that's not working so maybe those will keep things a bit more organized might rearrange how i've configured these shelves so there are, you can make them double the height if you need, which I thought would be really cool. Um, so I might make one of them like a double. And then over this way, I have got these. And I thought they were such a cool find. That's in there. They have a little hook. So I think those Anko, Anko I think is Kmart. These were so cheap. I think it was like $7 or something. So I got two. So I thought I could hang some lovely things on there, but because of these little balls, I wasn't sure if like my girth, um, what is it called? I'm not sure if I could put my girth over that. So I didn't buy like these little S hooks and these are from Bunnings. I think they were two, three dollars or something. So I could hang them on and then that way. I don't know. I have an idea in my head. So I can hang them like that and then my girth can go over there so they can all hang long ways. But I'm so excited. I just need to find a spot for them. Or yeah, we'll wait and see. But that's kind of the plan. Okay, so I've moved everything up to this top rack and the bend in it is real. I hope it doesn't break. It is bolted in the middle. Um, it just has a bit of a sag, but I've organized everything in from my pads from dressage to jump. So as you can see in my dressage pads, I do love a bit of colour. Equestrian Stockholm is a clear favourite. However, I am loving this Aquido one that I recently purchased. And then onto my jump ones. All my jump ones, as you can probably see, are very plain. I don't have many bright colours in jump. I've got my eye out for maybe a red one, but I do have like that burgundy red eco gold. But yeah, I always love my neutral colours for jump. And then I just have a couple of my comp pads here at the end. Okay, so I've decided to tackle these boxes. I've done those first three. So I've done my brushing boots, show jump boots, and cross country boots. Now I'm just on to my grooming and vet products. So I've kind of added in a new label there, which I've just been cutting out using some good old scissors. Just cutting around my little table outline. Um, yeah. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here I never use. So maybe I also need to make a throw out pile or a donate pile or something like that, because this is, this is a lot. How many measuring cups does one person need? <laughs> maybe it was like on a sale for like a couple of dollars, but this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Wow. Finished my little grooming and vet products box. Lots of sponges, sprays, sunscreen, um, shampoos, um, detanglers, all those sorts of things. So that is that one done. And now on to the next one. Now I've just cut out a new label for this box. This, box. this is my caps and socks one. So I'm just getting that old one out, popping the new one in, and then let's organize it. Wow. That's just a state, isn't it? Gosh. Let's... So this is just currently my competition box, um, which I don't really use too much because most of my competition gear I actually keep upstairs. Um, I keep it in my apartment. So this is just like a couple of other bits and bobs that I have in here. But yeah, all of my like massive Bates bags that I take traveling, they're all upstairs as well. Right, change of plans i'm just kind of playing it by ear at the moment because my plans to like half this have a shelf there's completely gone out the window this is staying here however we're missing one of these low ones that i had but we're going to stick all the other things that i don't really need at the moment away and make these five high and then i might make it like push them both either side so i can have like maybe my bridles and girths in the middle or just up one end, we'll see how they both look. They're quite easy to move though, and they're really, really light and flimsy, so it's going good. I've just popped my boxes in these shelves at the moment, but I couldn't resist. I really want to put my girths up and see if this concept will work. Well, I guess it depends on what way I want them to face too. I'll go that way. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah. Mmm. Looks good. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is meant to be like the last thing, but I really want to just have a look at it now. Still got my rugs to do too. Oh my gosh, it's so messy still. Oh, okay. I'll put this one up and then the rest can wait. Mmm. <laughs> Stop. So I'm just putting up some of my bridles at the moment and my breastplate. I don't think I need that hook there. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time rearranging. It might take me a bit of time, but I really like how this is all working out so far. I have to admit, I have had a little bit of a break from the storeroom. I was incredibly hangry, so I needed to go get some food, but I am back. I am feeling refreshed. So let's get the rest of this underway. Um, so I've got like a pile outside of stuff that I need to sell that I no longer need um, as well as some other things to kind of sort out. I need to find a spot for these rugs. What am I going to do with those? Mind you, it's going to be winter soon so then I can trade them for the ones that are in my tub in front of Enzo's paddock at the moment. Tricky. Maybe they just need to go in like a bag or something for the time being. Anyways, I'm rambling, so let's just get to organizing. So I've just cut out another little label for rugs cause I think I'll be able to fit one of Enzo's new cottons that I've got and also his exercise um, sheet for winter. I think that'll be able to fit in here all right instead of just being up there loosely. Does it fit? Does it fit? It'll do. <laughs> I think I'll just be able to get this lid on. Just. Okay guys, let's do a final tour. I'm so, so, so happy with how this has all turned out. So we we'll start at the very front, so you open the door. We've got my cotton and rugs in this one. I do need to make a new label here. This is for show rugs. So he's got his Bates fleece in there because we are a Bates brand ambassador. Caps and socks in this one. Show jump boots. Onto the next shelf is a bit of like a you know, prized possession. So I've got my first and only rug that I've actually won so far. And this was on Smokey in 2019. And I've got my cask star lady helmet in there. Down here, my cross country boots and my brushing boots. I guess all of my boots are in these ones because these are my most used items. So I kind of had all those things towards the front and my less used items towards the back. Now, I didn't have anywhere to pop my rugs at the moment. So I have just tried to fold them as neatly as I possibly could in there. Moving right along, I've got some of my show gear here. So this is my like boots and helmet bag, vet forward slash grooming kit, and my saddle pad bag as well, all by Lemieux, sporting black and red as we do my, I guess, signature colors up here. I think this has turned out quite well. Of course, I could tie my bridles up properly, but because I swap and change sometimes and I just need them quite quickly, I've left them as is. But now thinking about it, I probably might wrap them up because I know they look all quite nice when they are done up. My breastplate and then I've got all of my girths here that I use on Enzo. I am using this care girth on him now for dressage instead of my fluffy, just because it is so much more comfier on him. And this is what my saddle fitter did recommend. So, and it's got 
this lovely air kind of socket in there with a care system. Esky, <laughs> you always need an esky when you're at shows to keep your drinks cool. I've got up here my half pad, so I've got my fluffy and my gel half pad up there. My halters and lead ropes, all my excess kind of bridal parts in here. Grooming and vet products, miscellaneous items, and of course we can't forget my lovely Lumiere brow band collection. I always love to swap them around to make them match our outfits. Gloves and belts box in here and just some competition wear. Obviously that's probably my least used box so that's why it's over here in this corner at the moment um, because we only go you know every, once or twice a month. Um, Enzo's float boots are also at the bottom as well as my weatherproof tall boots. They're the ones that I use when it's really wet and muddy and I don't want to use my other training boots or um or my show boots either so that's when i use them and then we've got my lovely clothes rack and my saddle pad rack which is all kind kind of organized now and looking at it now that is quite a decent collection of saddle pads but who says that you can't have too many saddle pads <laughs> um so yeah from my dressage ones to my jump ones to my competition sets down there what I've done with my clothing is I put all my breeches up the front. Again, I'm still kind of waiting for a few, so I do have some um, clothes hangers ready and waiting. Breeches, then I've gone color coordinated for my tops, which is like this section here. So I've got red, black, onto a bit of um, pink, white, blue, green, navy. I've got my vests, my puffer vests. I'm such a big fan of puffer vests. I think this collection might need to grow a little bit, but can't get too ahead of ourselves show jackets and then my puffer jackets and my cross country safety vest alrighty guys thank you so much for watching my tack room makeover don't forget to like and subscribe if you really enjoyed this video and let me know what i guess your favorite part of the makeover was but i will see you guys on my next video very very soon bye